coronavirus fears move stocks towards the worst week since the financial crisis. So what is the key to navigating the sell-off? Well, joining me today, a very special guest, legendary investor, Jim Rogers. Jim, this does not happen often that we are in the same room. You're exactly right. It's been a few years. I'm <laughs> and, delighted. And what a day to, to be in the studio, a market sell-off here, and obviously with all your wisdom and advice. Huh. Uh, you know, what should investors be doing here? Well, they probably should be buying. I know it's attributed to the virus, but remember, the virus has been around for three months now, and the virus has been spreading a lot of places. If you ask me what's going on, the market got overbought. You know, the market went up 15 or 20 percent with virtually you no know, down days, got overbought, and now we're having a sell-off. Of course, whenever there's a sell-off, journalists find a reason. They always <laughs> have to have a reason. They can't just say, oh, it was overbought. So here we have a reason. But it's also important to keep in mind, Jim, you know, and maybe you disagree or agree, that just because the stock market is down is not a reflection of, of, of the economy necessarily. No, no, no. The market fluctuates all the time. I'm not the first to know that. You're not the first to know that. No, we've had many fluctuations. This one is a severe one, but the, up, the, the run up was a severe one as well. Jim, you're in New York today. I know you're based in Singapore. Can you yep. give us insights as to, you know, what we're getting from the news we're getting from Asia? Is it, is it correct? Is it trustworthy? Well, What's the situation you, really like? I will, it is, I will tell you, there's such panic here uh, in, the, in the West, if I can put it that way. Everybody's scared. I'm on a couple of boards. They don't want me to come to the meetings. They want me to sit in another room. <laughs> They're like, have you been, have yeah. you been quarantined said, for 12 days? Yes, it's amazing. See, I have you no know, fear, and I'm pregnant. Uh, good for you. you don't, there's no reason for you to have any fear. That's the point I'm trying to make. You know, so far this year in America, something like 20 or 30,000 people have died of the flu. I don't see anybody panicking here, running around because of the flu. Two or 3,000 3, people have died of this particular flu. But living in Asia... Yes, the shops are empty. Yes, the restaurants are empty because everybody's in panic, but very few people are sick. Okay. Is this the danger to the economy, though? Is that the behavioral change we'll see yes. from the consumer? Yes, everybody's panicking. Right. So people are not going to go to restaurants. People are not going to go to movies and whatnot. So is that the real cause for concern? Yes, that, that is the cause. The flu, the virus, is more or less is peaking. Certainly in China, it's peaking because they took draconian measures. Mm -hmm. I mean, they closed the whole place down, which you probably couldn't do in most countries, but they did it. So it's, it's in decline. It's in decline in Asia, but still the effects are going to go on. Planes are empty. Restaurants right. are empty. Rest, hotels are empty. Where I go, no, there's nobody there. So, so it's having an effect. So will we have a global recession because of it? Probably, yeah. We're overdue. As, as you know, it's been over 10 years, the longest in American history without a recession. So we're certainly overdue. What's happening in Asia is having a big effect on the economies of Asia. That's not going to get, even if the flu's over, hmm. it, the, the, the repercussions are going to go on for a while. It might tip us into a recession. We're overdue. So even if the Fed starts cutting rates, right, that's not going to save anything really because of the behavioral changes again. Well, what you have in Asia and other places now are governments panicking, cutting rates, printing money, uh, spending money. The U.S. is probably going to do that too as they get more and more panicked. If you start seeing cases in New York or L.A. or places where the media is, Washington, oh my God, if it's Washington, they're going to cut rates, they're going to spend more money and print more money, and that might lead to the last big, you know, blow-off, blow-off rally. Now, the question is, Jim, well, gold's supposed to be a safe haven, and look at gold today as we're speaking. Last time I checked, spot gold was down, you know, $55. I don't know what it is. Oh, good, because okay. I want to go buy some gold. I know, gold. and I know <laughs> you've always said, Daniela, you know I like when gold goes down because that's my opportunity yes. to buy. Good news. Um, I'm going to leave you and go buy some gold. But is, is it just a, a reaction? Is, are they just are people selling gold for cash to meet margin calls? What's going on here? Well, of course, everything is going down. And you go back to previous bear markets, 2008, for instance. Everything went down, including gold for a while. Gold went down a lot for a while. Usually in bear markets, people have to sell, and they sell everything in sight, including gold. And that's when you buy gold. So 
you'd be buying here? I'm going to go or buy a little bit high? this afternoon. How about the PGMs? Do you like platinum, palladium, rhodium, which has had a crazy run up? I'm too too lazy. I'll go, go buy <laughs> gold and silver. <laughs> yeah, no, they're all. That. Well, platinum, I mean, uh, palladium has been a skyrocket. No, I don't think I would buy palladium. Platinum? Well, probably not even platinum because they, you know, all those those precious metals have gone up mm -hmm. like rockets. Amazing. I don't think I've ever seen, well, silver back once or twice, but you rarely see this kind of move in anything, much less precious metals. So I don't think I'll buy them. You buy them. Kid uh, code, kid code. <laughs> I'm saving for the twins, Jim. Uh, um, <laughs> Let me ask, you said you would be buying, you know, equities here. What companies in particular? Like insurance companies perhaps or uh, no, who do you uh, like? I would buy Asia because Asia is down the most. I mean, America's down 14 percent. Well, I mean, that's a big deal. But, you know, China's down like 60 percent from its all-time high. Uh, Japan. No, I would probably buy airlines in Asia because they have been decimated totally decimated. Things like airlines, tourist companies, hotel chains, uh, airports, just decimated. And you were liking India last time we spoke. Is that still uh, part of I'm your not plan? buying India, but if India, India hasn't gone down enough uh, yet. The place, I like to buy places in Russia. I, I would be, I, there's a company in Russia I want to be buying uh, in the next yeah. day or two places that are decimated. But who is getting a bounce is Bernie Sanders. So let me get your thoughts on politics here. Is, are you know are people just liking him more now because of this? Is, it, is there any correlation you think to the stock market <coughs> well, drop Well, people here? get scared. He's got simple answers. He's going to make everybody make sure you don't get hurt. You're going to have plenty of money. But I don't think he'll win. T Trump will win. Uh, it's very difficult to defeat a sitting president in America, you know, because, and the reason is sitting presidents, if they need votes over here, they spend money over yeah. here. The opposition cannot spend money over here. If they need money over here, the votes over here, they spend money over here. So it's very, very difficult historically to defeat a sitting president. So overall, how, how do you, you, you're in New York now, you didn't come no. here for refuge from Singapore, I'm assuming, no, 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 <laughs> right? No, no, it's not your no. safe haven. Uh, but you feel, how, you know, how do you feel? Well, I, what I, as I say, the main thing I've noticed on this trip is that everybody's in a panic about the virus. The fact that I, I think I've been in Singapore three days in the last uh, month. But people know you live in Singapore. You right. must be, oh, my God, oh, my God. Don't come close <laughs> right. to me. Don't come to the meeting. I'm here for board meetings. Don't come to the meetings. Phone in. You know, I say, I haven't even been in Singapore except for two or three days. Yeah. There's panic. What, when Very you flew absurd. over here, was everyone wearing masks? What? M many people were. I wasn't, but yeah. uh, I, I don't have a mask. Too much trouble. I'm too lazy. <laughs> too lazy. Jim but so Rogers. far, I haven't gotten the virus. Jim Rogers, thank you so much. It's my delight. And thank you for watching this very special edition of Kiko News with Jim Rogers. We'll have much more for you on Kiko.com.